Well, hey everybody, welcome to Collider Video. My name's John Campion, I'm the senior producer here at Collider Video, and I wanted to give you my reaction to the new Suicide Squad trailer that just dropped. Now, this is a trailer that they showed at Comic-Con uh, just the other day, but unlike the Batman v Superman trailer, which they released right away, they released this one shortly thereafter, and it is now online for everybody to see, and hopefully by now, you've had a chance to check it out. My overall impressions, it's a really good trailer. I think it gave us a really good sense of the tone of the film, that this is, this is really highlighting, I think, what is differentiating Warner Brothers and DC movies from Marvel movies. I'm not, neither one is better than the other, but whereas the Marvel films, a lot brighter colors, a little bit more levity and a little bit more humor, and a little bit lighter in tone, and it works great for them, magnificent even, DC and Warner are going for more washed out tones. They're going for a darker tone. They're going for something a little more heavy, if you will, in their films. And I think that's going to serve them and their characters very well, much like the way I think Marvel's style works very well for them and their characters. I think they're going with the right approach here. And I think it was also really important that not just in Batman v Superman and with Batman and with Superman, that you make a distinction visually tone-wise between your films being DC and Warner Brothers and Marvel's films and what we're seeing so far I believe really plays to that that they are making that that distinction between the two and it's serving them well now talking about the trailer itself some of the things I thought worked spectacularly number one Amanda Waller they I think really captured the essence of who and what Amanda Waller is in this trailer now I'm not one of these people who believes that you know, characters in comic book movies have to be exactly like the characters in the comic books. I'm not one of those people. I never have been. I'm totally cool with taking lots of liberties. Do whatever you need to do to make the movie a better movie. But I kind of felt in this short little glimpse we got into this little window into the world of Suicide Squad, I thought one of the things they really truly nailed was that of Amanda Waller. You understand what her role in all this is. You got a little bit of a glimpse into her soul, I felt like, in watching this trailer. And this trailer does a really good job, not just in giving us the tone of the film, but they kind of set up, here's what the structure of this is. Here's Amanda Waller, this is what she's done. This, These are the people she's gathered together and why she's gathered them together and what her attitude towards them are. I thought she did a really good job uh, with that one. Also, another thing I thought they did great was Harley Quinn. And I think going into this movie, almost as important as the Joker, was you got to nail Harley Quinn because people love them some Harley Quinn. And I thought the incarnation we got of Harley Quinn in this was awesome. She is deadly assassin because we see her taking out some people there. She's also got that warped sense of humor, a little Joker-ish, which, which is what we expect and what we want in a Harley Quinn. And she has to look absolutely dynamite, drop dead gorgeous, and that's what Margot Robbie does, and that's what she brings to the table, and what she does really, really well. I love that opening shot of her in her cell, kind of hanging upside down and spinning. And I also really like the choice of the song, that, that the joke was on me. The last time I heard that song in a movie was actually in Zoolander, after Derek's supermodel buddies all died. They played that song, so it was really cool hearing that song. And they did a little bit of what Marvel's uh, Avengers Age of Ultron did, was they took a song we know, with the Pinocchio song, and they made it really slow and creepy, and they did the same thing, and I don't think it's copying. Other movies have done that before, too. It's not like Avengers Age of Ultron was the first ones to do it, but they did it in this movie or with this trailer, and I thought it was the right choice. I think it was very, very effective for the trailer itself. So I love the look of Harley Quinn. And also, you know what the one thing was that everybody's going to be looking for in this trailer? They're looking for glimpses of the Joker. Now... I, for one, was totally cool with the Joker when we first saw the pictures of Jared Leto as the Joker come out. And I said, I'm a little bit on the fence. A part of me feels he looks a little too much soccer hooligan. Um, but I think there's promise there. And yeah, yeah, I'm on board. I'm on board. But I still had my reservations. Some people totally loved it. Some people totally hated it. And I can get why people would love it. I can get why people would hate it. But I think what this trailer is going to do for those people like me who are a little bit worried about the Joker we were getting, 
I think this trailer lays those fears to rest. Dennis and I mentioned on Movie Talk earlier that it really did feel, when he would speak, it felt like a combination of Heath Ledger's Joker and Mark Hamill's Joker. It felt like a really neat mixture of the two. And despite what some of our fears might have been because of his look, because this is a very unique look from any other Joker we've seen, hearing him laugh, hearing that voice, hearing that dialogue and the way he said, oh, I'm just going to hurt you really, really bad. I mean, when he's doing that, it's like, okay, forget it. This is the Joker. They, they, they reached up into the aether and grabbed somehow the spirit of the Joker into a jar and poured out that aether into Jared Leto and he got it. This is going to be a different looking Joker than we've ever had. This is going to be a different portrayal of the Joker than we've ever had. But make no mistake about it, what this trailer told me was this is the Joker. I think he captured the spirit of the Joker great. Now granted, we're talking about a trailer. This is an ever so small glimpse into the movie that we're getting in a very small window. But from all we have to go on is what we've seen and what I'm seeing makes me really excited. I'm like what I'm seeing a lot. We didn't get a, a lot of insight into, you know, we saw Will Smith saying, ah, oh, so we're the patsies. That really meant more went towards setting up the movie and what we are. Things I've already mentioned a little bit before with, with Amanda Waller. Um, so I'm I'm still not sure what to make of Will Smith as Deadshot. I'm still not sure what to make of the other characters we see as well. But I do know that the style David Ayer has set up, I think is going to serve this movie well. The most important thing was that they nailed the Joker. I believe they've nailed the Joker. The next most important thing I think was nailing, nailing Harley Quinn. And I believe they they did that as well. I think setting up Amanda Waller properly and an important thing for this trailer was to set up the story. I think it did all that. Who they're going after, who truly is the bad guy, is it the Joker, is it somebody else? How much of a role will Batman play? I don't know, but the movie's so far, so far away, we don't need to know yet. This was a first trailer and I personally think it was an exceptional trailer. Am I as bananas over this trailer as I was about Batman v, v Superman? No, but that's an unfair measure because I can't remember the last time a trailer made me as excited out of my mind as the Batman v Superman trailer. But I think this trailer did the job, did it well, and you know, if the idea of a trailer is to make you more excited for a movie that's coming out, this did it. I've been excited for Suicide Squad, but a trailer's job is to turn doubters into believers and turn believers into really excited fans. And this trailer to, made me one of those really excited. Now I'm really excited for this movie. So that's my feelings on it. I want to know what you think because that's the most important thing. Did you see a totally different trailer with me? Did you see it and did it actually discourage you? Did you like it but have some reservations about it? Tell me your thoughts about the trailer. Leave your thoughts. Get the discussion going uh, in the, in the uh, comment section below because we would love to know. Folks, don't forget, we're on Collider Video now, so make sure if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, subscribe to our Collider Video YouTube channel for all your movie news every day, up to the minute stuff. Check out our website on Collider.com, and you can follow me on Twitter and on Facebook, just at John Campia. That'll do it for me, guys. Thanks for joining. My name's John Campia. See you later.